Hey all, in this video I want to show you how to use my tea curing mod. Um, it comes with kind of everything that you see here, as well as a couple of other items. Um, and basically what it does is you can harvest from the tea plant in your garden, which is a custom um, harvestable that I've made. And with those tea leaves, you can cure them to make different colors of tea, black tea, green tea, oolong, etc. And then you can take that tea um, and go to the mill and make tea blends that you can actually use in recipes. So let's get started here. Um, there's a few different parts to this. Some of them are optional, some of them are required. Um, this does require the Brazen Homestead cookbook. Uh, this is where you'll be able to find the new curing and preserving section. You can also find this menu here. If you click on these, these are curing racks. Um, you will not be able to cure your tea leaves um, without them if you have a base game. So let's click on here and go to curing and preserving. Right now there's only one recipe here. And you can see that this um, tea curing rack, if you want to make it, you, it will cost you 110 simoleons. But... If you have 10 tea leaves and an empty curing rack, um, it will actually cost zero. And where you can get the curing rack is there is an optional file that comes with the mod that allows you to actually make the um, curing rack here. If you go to craft furniture, you'll see it's right here. So um, this also, it doesn't require a wood log, but if you use a wood log, it actually reduces the cost to zero. Um, and you can find these wood logs with my foraging mod. Um, but we'll see here, we'll go to craft furniture, curing rack, and let's see what she does here. And she'll go ahead and put this together. And then you'll get a rack in your inventory. It's an empty curing rack. These can be placed in game, but if you want to use it as a recipe ingredient, it needs to be in your inventory. So let's go back here, go to curing and preserving, and you can see here by having one rack, it reduces the cost a little bit. So adding those other 10 leaves will make this cost zero. Now if you click on this, I'm just going to go ahead and grab some ingredients. Um, you should just grab the vegetable tray. Um, Sorry, it's a little laggy. And you can see here that she'll bring up the tea leaves, chop them up, kind of separate them to get them ready to be put on the curing rack. And then there we go. So this is our curing rack. You can see here that it actually does have a date that it spoils. It takes a little bit longer to spoil, it takes six days. Um, you cannot put these in the refrigerator to store them. But if you do put it on a curing rack, um, you gotta hit the turn button here. Not sure why, but you put it on the curing rack and it actually extends the time that it will take uh, before it starts to spoil. Now, when you put it on the curing rack, while I'm doing this, I'm gonna have her make another one because I wanna show you guys something else. Um, but when you put it on the curing rack here, ah, let's see. see. Um, it will actually start the cure. So if I if I leave this on the counter, the leaves will just stay green and it won't cure at all until it actually um, spoils. On a curing rack, you know, the idea is that it gives it this perfect environment that it can start to cure in. Let me kind of speed this along here. Now, if you look, it's been a few hours. I have this set on a higher rate. Um, but you see it says in green, collect white tea. And this just happened after a couple of hours. Um, the regular time frame is you will actually get white tea at about 12 hours, green tea at 24, um, oolong tea at two days, and black tea at four days. Now from four to eight days, you'll have black tea. Um, but once it hits that uh, eight day mark, it will actually spoil. So you've got to make sure that you pull the rack off before it gets to that point or you're going to end up with a rack with a bunch of moldy leaves. Um, so you can see here it says collect white tea. If, let's wake my sim up. 
And when we click on this, we have a couple of options. We can clean and reuse it, which will clean off the leaves and then put a curing rack in our inventory. We can throw it away or we can collect the tea leaves. Now when we go and collect the tea leaves, she'll grab them and it will place some cured white tea leaves in your inventory. Now it comes in this little basket. Uh, it will spoil. It takes a really long time to spoil. It's like my flour and sugar. Um, I believe it takes like, you know, 30 some days before it will actually spoil. Um, but this is going to be used as an ingredient to make your teas. So you'll just go ahead and you'll place them here. You do have to keep an eye on it. Make sure you come back and collect it. You know, if you want oolong tea, come back and collect it when it's this brown color. Black tea is this. Um, you saw what the white tea looked like. It was like a off green kind of color. And then green tea is kind of like a darker green. Um, the cool thing about this is that if you want to do some gameplay where, you know, say you're doing like a history challenge or something and you don't want to use the cured the tea racks to or the curing racks to cure the tea you can actually set these guys outside now let's fast forward a little bit here and you can see that setting it outside actually helps it cure if it's warm outside okay so if it's cold uh, this will not cure you can see we're already at green tea here and oolong again i said it i said it pretty fast just so i could show this in the video um but you see here we're already to oolong it's nice and warm outside so it's actually curing if it were cold it wouldn't do anything it would just sit there so let me go ahead we're gonna make one more so i can show you something else uh and so we could take this oh the other thing i actually did want to show you let me go here So when you hover over this, you see it's got six days, right? I also made it so that if you take this and you put it in the cellar, so it has to be underground, right? It's gotta be in a basement. And if you put it in the basement, it will actually stop spoiling. Uh, I did this with the, what is it called? The um, cured tea leaves and I believe I did it with the tea mixes that you can make at the mill as well so again if you're playing some you know like a historical gameplay or something you want to save your stuff and have it not spoil uh, you can actually put it in the the basement and that will keep it from spoiling so we're gonna do we're gonna go here I'm gonna show you the next part of this you can leave these outside uh, again in warm weather they will they will continue to cure now if it's the weather is bad right and these are outside so let's slow this down and say that it's outside it's curing and then we get some rain oops come on where are you there you go when it starts to rain just like in real life if this hurries up here there we go just like in real life if you had some stuff curing outside and it rained it would it would spoil so make sure you bring it inside if it starts to rain or else you're going to end up with a nasty dirty spoiled rack now with these you can actually still clean and reuse them i don't know why throwaway is there twice sorry about that we'll need to fix that but Oh, you can see here she tried to actually reuse the rack and it broke so she actually only got a piece of wood but she can use that to go ahead and make another one on the woodworking bench if she wants or you can sell the wood see this time she was able to collect it so now once you have that and here's some cured oh these all spoiled I'll clean that up later um, <laughs> let's put these in our inventory and once we have these, these can be used to make teas at the mill. So we'll go to herbs and spices. And you'll see a whole list. Is, you have to see my spices in here as well. But you can see things like Earl Grey tea, green tea, lavender tea, etc. Um, the basket of tea leaves is an ingredient. This works like 
almost all my other recipes where if you have the ingredients, it reduces it down to zero. If you don't, you just have to pay what it would cost to acquire those ingredients. Um, so let's go ahead and let's make the rose tea on that mill. And then on this mill, let's make the green tea. Ooh, that's really loud, huh? Sorry, the milling process is a loud one. Uh, let's go to package milled food. And when we do that, we should get um, a sack of herbs. Let me cheat her because she is not happy right now. Okay, so now we have um, rose tea uh -huh. and green tea. And if we put these out, you can do this from your inventory as well. Put them out and I click on it, I can measure all servings or measure a serving. Now, when you measure a serving, um, you are going to get a tin of tea. Let's see here, so a green tea tin. Uh, if you measure all servings, it will actually get rid of this, but it will measure out all eight servings. There are eight servings in each bag. So now I have a bunch of tea tins that I can use to make tea. Now, it, this one's a little expensive because it does have rose as an ingredient. Um, green tea should be a little bit more affordable, but green tea is a little more expensive too because it, um, you know, you have to get it in that 24 hours or so or else it turns into oolong. Um, so the green and white tea does cost a little bit more to make uh, because it, it goes to the next step a lot quicker. Um, but it's, it's still a reasonable cost the way that I built it in together. So um, what I did f for this in order to use these you can use my new teapot um, where you can either make the drinks, which requires um, ingredients, or you can go to serve hot drinks and you can just go ahead and pay for what it would cost to make the six cups of tea. Uh, so let's just do a quick example of that with the green tea. Now serving it again doesn't require ingredients, so it's not gonna use up that green tea tin that I have in my inventory. Um, now if you, and you can see there, she stocks it to the tray. If you have the uh, Scumbumbo's XML injector installed, which I highly suggest because a lot of my mods actually use that, you can click on the tea maker and there's a new option here that says tea for biscuits. So these are any of these um, kind of English tea things, um, English tea inspired, tea time inspired. Uh, teas that I made that's where they're going to be and here you can see um, every every recipe that I have is in here um, some of them are actually lactose free as well like the Irish breakfast tea you'll need a black tea tin a bottle of milk and sugar um, but there's always also a lactose free version which you would use cow plant milk instead of regular milk so uh, I wanted to make sure I had options for lactose free sims uh, but anyway so you'll see here I have one tea tin in my inventory allows me to make one pot of green tea at no cost so I click on that let's get it going and now I have a free pot of tea so there's three servings one tin will get you three servings um, in here and um, for the teapot, I believe it's one tin per two servings is what it ended up working out to be. I'll have to double check. But So I think that's about it. Um, hopefully I didn't miss anything. If you guys have any questions or comments or you run across, if you're using it and you run across any issues, please feel free to let me know. Thanks for watching.